Mathematicians, when they attack a problem like this, showing that something is impossible, they start by a contradiction. They basically assume it is possible and then after some logical argument, they end up with something ridiculous. Things like one is equal to zero, or maybe a cow is the same as an elephant. Things that everyone will agree that they are ridiculous, and therefore the basis, the assumption that led to this contradiction must be faulty. A very powerful mathematical weapon for doing these problems is called an invariant. And as the word suggests, invariant means a feature which does not vary. In this case, it does not vary throughout the game. For instance, number of objects. Do the number of objects in this game stay the same? And very quickly, you will find out that that is not the case because a clone is replaced with two clones. And so the number of objects goes by one. All right, so that's not our invariant. We can try something else. Parity of objects. So perhaps the number of clones stays only odd or only even. But again, that's not the case. We start with three clones, and at the very next move, we have four clones. So that changes from odd to even and back to odd. Out of consideration. Three positions, perhaps? Again, that's not true. The free positions change throughout the game. The number of free positions actually stays infinite the whole time. But the actual positions, which are free and which are not free, changes throughout the game. And then you can try some crazy things like twice the number of clones minus five times unoccupied prison cells. Well, this is a very random formula that I cooked up. So right now we have three clones, all right, so two times three, minus five times zero, because all of the prison cells are occupied. All right, that's gonna be six. Next, we make a move, there we go, and we have twice times four. Two times four, four clones, minus five times, and we have one unoccupied prison cell, so that's one. Overall, eight minus five, that's three. Unfortunately, six is not equal to three, so this cannot be an invariant. All of those trials involved objects that were counted by integers, by whole numbers. And Maxim Kunsevich's solution did not involve integers alone. It involved some other numbers.